Welcome back to Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Massachusetts, Pub 125. This is the World Tournament. Paul Grant Bobley on Canop and Bowling Network just underway. Justin Scally leading off of Central Park Lanes, 10 and 22. Starts over the spare. Jeff Lafayette starts off the first of three strings for the seven. Jeff on the top bowl is mean. Justin Scally on the bonus, lane 36. In the pocket, nine. 19 up to one. Great Wood guarding the six. Yeah, four rather. That Pierre, one of the Battle of Sexes, one of the three men. Spare yeah, back to back. Scally on fire in the beginning. 29 through two. Plus a ball. The table setter. Jeff Lapper from South Paris, Maine, originally Bedford, Maine. Another tough lead. Can't believe it. Explosive bowler. Ends with an eight. Just 15 through two. He was awesome in the men's money match. Three I did. I'm watching on Kenneth Bowling Network. In the 1300s. Dan Gott, they call him Shoe. Veteran bowler. Second bowler of five. Two points for win. One for tie, two for total. He goes left as the four husband plus the seven. I call it the post. Here's Jeff Stoughton, uh, money match doubles partner, Mark Weber, young bowler on the rise. Over just seven years, Belfast, Maine. Some of the all play bowling center. Hosted by Paul Dyer, the owner. Hey. Hey. Tell him. Hey. Got to the one seven six ten to the right. Missed everything. Weber, the two seven ten. Missed everything also. A six and a seven. Brutal start. Some of these bowlers. Now how you start. It's how you finish. Mark Weber, high single of 195, high triple of 444, high five, seven, 14. Shout out to Laura Weber, Weber, his mother also. He's down sports a lot. Bowling. Nice lady, Laura Weber. Shoe a 3 2 split. Sean. Sean. Four horsemen for Weber. Not the air. Only two. That's the one, six, and ten. First of three strings underway. The World Tournament, day two. Weber, stand! 17 the ball through two. Explosive fastball. Not here. Swings it back for a ten. Legal block in the back. 16 through two. Our second of three matches, Taylor. Kenneth the Bowling Network. Let's bring in Bob Lee. It looks like Carada Pani is in the third spot. Have you seen who the fourth and fifth bowlers are for Central Park, Paul? Uh, we've got um, Carada Pani's third, Steve Bonte is fourth, Chris Parkinson fifth. Thank you. Getting a little bit of an echo now, so Paul, I'm uh, Yep. Okay, move back away. Wait, avoid the echo. Learning on the fly here. My streaming. Pani, the captain, 3-6-10, uh, spare chance. 51% of the time they go for stairs. Stats provided by Kendall from Bowling Network for Pro Bowlers that would. Parkinson and Free Pinner also. <laughs> hey, was that a spare? It's $5 a mark. Won't go for either one. Sean bought paper, scissors, sears, got a lemon drop, so he put a dollar to Kendall Finch for cancer. Or six from Yes Bowlers to optionally donate one dollar. So have a great cause, can help us with cancer. If the four to six for your first shot, do not have a donation to your local bowling center or canopins number four cancer.com. That's canopins number four cancer.com. The firm way, it's up a great cause. Lemon drop pool. We joke five dollars if you do it on the mark. Well, you throw the ten, Joe Duda on the left, Ronald Pony on the right. Over there, pal. 
Show due to Adams Mass. Colorado gets four. Two to nine. The Bowling Ball Mafia, they went to the finals last year, last two years in the U.S. Invitational. All of the worlds, there's no Canada. Honey, nice ball for Spare. Yes! 20 to ball through two. 10 and 22 coming in. Bowling Ball Mafia, roaring start, 28 and four. Duda for Spare. Yes! E4, 10 to spare. Will Damon, our next men's money match in Maine, in Belfast. Uh, right now, scheduled 10 to be December 3rd. With Chris, the Wizard Bunny Hours. Steve Bonte on the right, out of Central Park Lanes. He's for us to match Chucky's house. Will Damon on the left. Well, from Wyndham, Maine, Richie Liston Falls, Maine. Average of 111, career high 119. Rocky ball and great of late. In the Friday Night Pro League has parallel pins. 5 9, 6 10 to the right. Damon in the pocket. 9. Wobbling four pin holds up. Nothing like the World Tournament. Come on down, Academy Lanes, Route 125. Rocky blinks it, only one. Make it two. As a 6 and 10. Check out the brand new bar restaurant here. Hub 125. You will love it. Three minutes spare. Monty at 10. Right now it's 75 62 early in the first of three strings. Second match of three today on Canada from Bowling Network. For asking viewers and fans, tell your friends and family, please subscribe free on YouTube to Candle Pin Bowling Network. Again, that's Candle Pin Bowling Network. It's free on YouTube. Sign up today and watch countless hours of semi pro to pro action, including the Friday Night Pro League, Sunday Pro League, Atlantic Candle Pin Single Store, Regular League, King of the Hills, so much more. Candle Pin Bowling Network, your place for all things Candle Pin Bowling. Subscribe free today. Thank you. Monty, just missed the three. Damon, seven to spare, 17 to one. The first to three. The Academy Lanes. Six foot over, up the wall, next white. Great offer. Monty for second 10, has it. 20 through two. Damon, 10, 27 through two. Anchor ball is Chris Parkinson from Blackstone, Massachusetts, in Medfield, Mass. Take a Mark Carrier. Hey, Ty. Ty. Did Mark call that He hasn't had a chance. Mark Carrier. And Chris Pryor, lemon drop. Gary and Bill Zate has the five and seven. A clinic performance with three house records all play in Belfast. Maine, the men's money match two. Watch a thrilling performance on Candle for Bowling Network. Maine, men's money match two. Good try there. Parkinson, nine. Chris Average 112, high single 172. Mark Carrier 10 to start the first of three. The World Tournament on Kenneth Bowling Network all week long, every day 9, 12, and 3, Saturday 9 and 12. The exciting finals on Alley Chat with Frank Luke with Kyle Bruce, Brendan O'Dowd, Jordan Britt, and Corey Leesey. Parkinson the 2 on split. Carrier drills the block at nine. All right, we're going to do the 50 50 raffle. I know you guys have been waiting to hear my voice on the microphone. It is a blue ticket. It's for $360. 240 0 0 0 3. 240 0 0 3.
And one other thing to do with the gentleman this morning looking for a gray sweatshirt with a stain on it that I did not have, but I found it. So if you and that gentleman, they lost a gray sweatshirt yesterday, it is at the desk. Okay, so while we're doing the announcements here, Mark Carey, a spare, 20 of all through two. Chris Parkinson, eight, 17 through two. Back to the top of the order, Justin Skelly, red hot. Spare nine, spare on lane 35 for Central Park Lanes. 102.99, really three pin lead for Justin's team. Central Park Lanes over Bowling Ball Mafia. Bowling Ball Mafia, three, two marks, hands in the spares. Jeff Lafia, 15 through two, Skelly on the nose. Three one split, perfectly placed wood though. Three six ten, try to go to the seven. Thirty five through two. This middle has the four, two, two and ten. Oh, what a shot for a spare! Three marks in a row to start the match. Forty five and a ball through three. Might be a dime. It's 24 through 3. Bowls can substitute through the first five boxes as long as you're not a mark in the first five boxes. Teams simply have between 7 and 9 bowlers. Some have 10, some have 6. One has 5. It's tough because you can't get a rest. Bowling 9 strings a day. Basically 4 plus days, 5 plus days. Last year goes left. 6. Galley the board just 3 that time. Sasha said 48 and 3, fine start. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at the one, three, four, seven left. Just missed that pin. Scally goes right, he's the one and the nine. Just a moment for over 31 years. Parents put in a league at age six. High single of 195, overall average 115, give or take. High triple 457, high 5706. Flat field with its best box of 10. He's got a little mini streak on a small streak on. 7, 8, 9, 10. Give you a spare spike next time. Scally at 10, perfect string so far. 58 through 4. Dan Goff here, 16 through 2. Mark Weber on the right on lane 36 for Bowling Ball Mafia on a spare. 131-118. Central Park Lane's early lead. Plenty of time. On the bonus six, the one, two, four, nine. 23 through two. Dan Goff here. 4 1 split. Mark's high single get 195. High triple 444. High five 714. Nice try, almost. High 10, 13.41. High 20, 23.81. Pulls out of Bangor Brewer Lanes. Bangor, Maine. Friends got involved seven years ago. It's a 10. 33 through 3 in the first of three. From Academy Lanes, came from Mass. The World Tournament. Got here in 8. 24 through 3. Dan's overall average 111, career high 125 for a year, high single 192, high triple 464, high 5 746. Weber off to the left, barely just that day. Of course, right to 13610. Look about 36% for Pro Bowls that would. For, for Washington pickup. Drop out the three. Shoot. Three one baby split. Missed it right. Is it the three? Weber? Nine. 42 through 4. Not here. My right for an 8. The correction 9. 33 through 4. Central Park leads coming in. Red Hut. 
Which time does Rock Lane's record bomb again? Hey, I'm sorry, we have a five pin lead now. No, Central Park Lane. 28 and 4, Central Park Lane's right. Oh, Bull and Mall Mafia is 28 and 4. Yep. Central Park, they just swept. Uh, they just had a sweep against the Massholes. And uh, CPL won two against Price's Wood Flooring. Joe Duda up there throwing with uh, Karate Kani. Paul. Strike! Constructive view here. Strike, Kani. So 30 through 2, 40 plus 2 through 3. Sorry, Corrado. Are you trying to get the uh, sound check done here? From Academy Lane, Pub 125. Duda and 8. Joe Duda, 34 through 3 at a spare 6 in the second. So at 115 league, Bola career high for a season, 120. High single, 201. High triple, 448. High five is 667. Head to head, 3-1. The ball well last year. We had coverage of their team several times at the U.S. Invitation through the playoffs. Like all those on Kenneth Bowling Never. Toronto! Weevil's level! They don't fall down. Almost double strike. On the object pin won't carry. Toronto, full span, nine. On the strike. 49 to 3. Two tough pieces of wood, number nine. 58 through four. You and Justin Scally, 58 through four. Joe Duda, seven, 41 through four. Will Damon, 27 through two, has a spare seven to ten. He's on the right for Bowling Ball Mafia. Ala Jackson Strong. Steve Rotti, 210s, 20 through two. Damon? He wants to write the one three six ten. Steve from Lynn, Massachusetts, Richard, Richard Everett, Mass. It's five. Going competitive for about 16 years now. Pulls a Central Park Lanes and moving ball. Oh, good try, but Damon didn't go. Rocky's open with the three and the seven. Nine for Damon, 36 to three. Marty, he nudge the seven, won't go. He gets an eight, 28 to three. Early on, it's 194, 173. Thanks, Justin Scally, Toronto Pony. They're up 21 in the spring right now. But they have no marks on the board. One mark for Bowling Ball. Mafia for Mark Carey, the anchor. Got the lane reach sitting on lane 36. This holiday season, all season long, please consider Kenilfe gift cards. It's a great way to get friends and family into the great game of Kenilfe bowling. The lane down. The lane breakdown. Does not count as a strike. Uh, so please support your local bowling centers. Get your friends and family involved in this great game of Kenilfe bowling. Maybe they'll join a league. Uh, it's great for the bowling centers, great for the sport. Makes great stocking stuff on Yankee Swap gift, all season long birthday gifts, special occasions. Please consider Kennel for gift cards all year round to get the keys on giving. We're going to bring back in Bob Lee while there's a lane reset here. In just a moment. Well, wait, uh, Pub 125, you have a place in Havel here at Academy Lane. Brand new restaurant bar, pub food, great quality, full bar, full bar menu. Please check it out. Academy Lane's 725 South Main Street through 125 in the Bradford section of Haverhill at Academy Lane's Pub 125. Will Damon goes left. Another four horseman. Bati, nice ball. Got the six to go, just the seven. I can hear it. Damon takes his time, delivers, 
just pop it that pin. Monty for a spare. Got it. On the board. 38 the ball through four here in the first of three. Game of nine. 45 through four. Mark Carrier for Bowling Ball Mafia on a spare. 20 in the ball. Chris Parkinson, 17 plus 2 on the left in Central Park Lanes. And the top bowler in main, Mark Carrier. It was awesome last year at the U.S. Invitational. In Lady Lanes, Nashua. Oh, a strike on spare. 30 through 2, 40 plus 2 through 3. Chris Parkinson, the 1, 2, 4, and the 9. Chris Bulls are Ryan Filming Music, Millis Mastermind, Out Run the Bear. Great job by Danny Finn and Kate Finn and Carrie Ann. Route 109, Millis Mass, Ryan Filming Music. Three different Out Run the Bear tournaments from the year. Parkinson puts the uprights for 10. 27 3. Two fourteen, two oh two, twelve pin leap at Central Park Lanes. Harry working a strike. Two poles. Red Eagle. Just recently purchased the one seven ten bowling center in Augusta, Maine. Making a great uh, changes there. Karaoke on weekends on Saturdays. Pub, food, bar. Check it out. One seven ten. A terrible uh, leave, but a great day for bowling alley. One seven ten in Augusta, Maine. Parkinson on the board with a mark. Thirty seven the ball through four. Mark. Six in a strike. Forty six through three. Nine in the box. Fifty five through four. Jeff Lamp here, 7, 8, 9, 10. The trend continues. We'll get a spare and a strike. <laughs> Justin Scally on fire, 58 through 4. One, three, and the seven. Jeff Lapierre, one, four, seven. Seventh pin lead right now for Central Park. Lanes just on the arch of won't carry. That is open. He needs to get over. Scally, joins it for eight. 66 half. Just has won a Pro Series doubles title match with Jeff Walsh, another great bowler, Riverwalk Lanes, Amesbury Mass. Lapierre, 89, 43 half. Mark Carey, you want to talk about your business when you have a check? When you have a chance, okay? Nice ball, Lapia nine. Scally nine drop also. For a spare, missed it. Not even close. Can't believe it. Doesn't miss by much. Usually. Lapia on the board finally. 43 half now, 53 and above with six. Scally again. Too far right. Frustrating wow, he says. 75 through six. Still having a fine start. 241, 236, lead is 5 for Central Park Lanes. Again, 10 and 22 coming in. Red Hot Bowling Ball Mafia. Swept the M Hall team earlier today, 8 0. They're 28 and 4 in this division. Day 2 of competition. Another match after this, separate broadcast from Kenneth Bowling Network. Tomorrow, 9, 12, and 3 of Time Approximate. Three matches tomorrow, two on Friday. Then we'll have the playoffs opening round Friday night, all live on Canopy Bowling Network. Your place for all things Canopy Bowling. 
So that'll be the quarterfinals semifinals at 9 and 12. And the LHL will have the finals. That substitution. Ryan Drago now in for Dan Goff here in the second slot. Thank you. In first ball in uh, breath ahead pin, but uh, left three in one split. Mark Weber last nine. Thanks, Bob. Ryan Vega replacing the shoe, Dan Goff here. Three one split. Oh, what a shot! Almost! Weber, a spare! Second spare of the straight, 52 half plus one. Back here, firing him up. Left hand, Ryan Drago at 10. 53 through 5. Off the bench. Tight battle here in Haverhill, Mass. World tournament. Best week of the season for the men. The Canada is the big tournament there, the 560 tournament in Maine. Uh, rather, Canada in February. 36 teams scheduled. Half West to the 2 of the 8 for Ryan Drago. Ryan from Warren, Massachusetts, originally in Somerville, Mass. In Boston. Weber 2 in the fill. Ouch. That's why I hate that shot, the half whisper. 54 half. Two marks and one advantage for Central Park Lanes now. Drago, 20% chance to convert, almost. That's the 5 and 7. <coughs> Ryan, a 112 league bowler, very high for season. Nice shot for Weber. 64 on the ball, back to back spares. Drago, 9. 19 is two boxes off the bench. 52 through six. First of three strings. Ball and ball mafia two years in a row made to the finals of the U.S. Invitational. They, are, they have a great team. They have balls in the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Bank of Rural Lanes. Some ball all play at Belfast Bean. Bravapani has the five, six, and ten. He has a spare strike in the second third box. It's 58 through four. Joe Duda had a spare six in the second. He's at 41 through four right now. Nice ball, strike! Right the pocket, snatched it! 51 half plus two. Honey. Oh, so close. That shot's not easy. Doesn't go that often. Anthony Karen standing by helping with the radar, Bob Lee radar gun. Welcome to commentate if you like. Get some play-by-play -play if you like, Anthony, too. Reserve my voice for later in the week. Last year lost after day three. Prado Pony, 67 half, 137. Joe Judah slams down nine times. Double strike, wow! 71 plus bonus balls. Oh, what a shot for a spare. 77 of ball through six. What a start here in Haverhill. The World Tournament. Biggest event of the season. Great start here in the first of three. Second of three matches today on Canop and Bowling Network. Please subscribe free on YouTube to Canop and Bowling Network. Get your friends and family to sign up also. It's free. Countless hours of semi pro and pro matches. Canop and Bowling Network, your source for all things Canop and. Chris Parkinson on a spare. Nine. Two pin left up. 46 through 4. Will Damon 8. Wobbling 2 in the 5 to the right. 
Clark is in 36 miles an hour. Steve Bonte, rather. Steve Bonte. I said Chris Parkins. Steve Bonte. Chris Parkins in next. Missed it. Well, Damon's open. Bonte in nine. Oh, and spare nine and nine. 47 through four, 56 half. What? Game at 10, 55 half. Chris Park is up next after Steve Bonte. Mark Carey up next after Will Damon. The anchor bowls. 297, 290. It's been close all the way through. Seven pin lead for Central Park Lanes. One, three, and seven. Damon off to the right. That's a break. That's the one and the seven. It's getting louder and louder. Bonte. Oh, nice shot. Spare. Steven Bonte. Second spare of the string. Second to the last three. 66 in the ball through six. Here in the first. Damon. Oh, good try. David trying to clean that for 10. It does. 65 through 6. 308, 307. Bowling Ball Mafia leads by one. They have a strike and a spare on the board. Central Park Lanes has two spares on the board. They get three. One right now from Chris Parkinson. One anchor. Chris has a high single of 172, high triple 433. I thought it was 623. He's in 2.7 pound bowling ball. On lane 36, on the fill. Looks good. Nine. Three turn left up. 46 to four. Mark Carrier. 55 to four. Has the one, two, four spare chance. Three pinnets go about 51% of the time for pro bowlers on wood. Stats provided by Count from Bowling Network. Parkinson, right on it, back to back stairs, 56 half plus one, Carrier, got it, matching stairs, 65 half plus one, has his own business drywall concepts, and just bought 1710 recently. Great to see uh, bowlers on a bowling alley, Anthony Karen. Yeah, absolutely. This is the best tournament of the whole year. And the atmosphere is incredible. Yeah, this is a very close match right now. It is. Parkinson at five. On the fill, 61 half. Wood to help in the middle. One, two, seven, eight, ten. Mark Carey, the two, four, six, ten. 71 half. Parkinson won't go. Carrier. What a try. Parkinson. Nine. Ten for Mark Carey. Mark 81 through six. Chris Parkinson 70 through six. Paul Grant Bobley, Anthony Karen with you live from Academy Lanes, Club 125. Gabriel, Massachusetts, the World Tournament, Day 2, Team Action, our fifth of 11 qualifying rounds. Three string format, two pins for a win, one for tie, two for total, two different divisions. Justin Scally on the left, 75 to 6. Jeff Leifert, his first spare, 53 to ball. Strike on spare! That's more like Jeff. Scally drills in. 710 pole fest, pole post. Jeff 63 through 6, 73 plus 2 through 7. At just 43 his first five. He's gonna be very low on that piece of wood to carry this shot. First spare. Got it! Beautiful shot. And three spares to start his fourth spare of the a string. 85 and ball through seven. Been up and down so far in the fall season this league, but all tuned up for the Worlds. And sometimes bowlers like Justin Scally, veteran bowlers, know how to bring it, know how to step up their game. Absolutely. 
Uh -oh. IPF double strike dead seven. Scally off to the right, steals a bunch, gets eight. And one of the seven. 93 through seven. Jeff, take a look at the wood. Anthony, how are you playing this? I, I honestly think on this one, he wants the left side of that wood and try to spin it. And that gives you a better shot to get the seven pin. Anthony, Anthony 155 Karen. Yeah. But now 155 bowling alleys plus US and Canada. Yeah, I'm nowhere near as good as these guys are. No, as far as board visiting, though, right? Bowling. Right, right. Have you, bowled, you, have you bowled all of them, too? Yes. 155 yeah. bowling centers. Yes. Even the most avid fan can't claim that, right? Did you say? I don't think there's too many people that have been as many camps for now as I have. Which ones in Canada have you not been to in Canada? Oh, there's a lot I've been to have not been to in Canada. I think in Canada I've only actually bowled in five. Now, Pierre, good try. That's, only one. That's my new one, Explore Territory, I want to add to my list. Eight in a strike. 81 to 7. Oh, come on, fair! Back to back, five in the string. Wow! That was a great shot. 103 in a ball through eight. I always told Chief Jeff, he looks like a teenager still. <laughs> I always say he's a young bowler. He's got the phone to you. Alan, uh, Jeff Lapierre at eight, 89 to 8. Hey. Mark Weber's on a spare. Two in a row. Three in the string. On the right, the bowling ball mafia. 64 in a ball through six. Ryan Drago filled in in the fifth box for Dan Goff. He had a 10 of the 9. Weber off to the right, 179 10. 70 through 6. Drago, check mark left, 1 stretch of the 5 to the right, 247 left. Weber missed everything. Ski ball shot, one of the 50. Yeah, that's a tough one. The southpaw Drago, two full on the object pin, won't carry. Ryan's high single, 167, high triple, 4 for 10, high 5, 660. Weber, an 8, 78 through 7, first of three strings. Ryan, a 9, as a ball is going to be on the 5. He had 28 in his last three boxes, this is subbing in. How many shame of Dan Goth here? 61 to 7. The 7 to miss, but uh, Central Park has three spare folks to go, and all the time, uh, Bowling Ball Mafia has that one strike. So I would still say that Central Park is the lead. Weber? 7, 1, 3, 6, spare lead. Drago, left. That's 1, 3, 6, the 7 to left. Weber for spare. Oh, so close. Ball's coming back. Right around it. Threw the wood in the ball and it wouldn't go. Yeah, very close. Trying to do the best with Nick Norcross, his delivery. Some yeah. Someone delivery. I can Doesn't see it? that. Yep. Just notice that. I notice things better when I'm half asleep. There you go. Mark Weber, 10, 88 through 8, the first of three from Haverhill, Mass. At the World Tournament, Drago 9, pinning well but no marks, 88 for 4. Since joining in, he's got a pair of 9s. 3 9s and 10, actually. 394, 386, Bowl of Ball Mafia by 8 in the string. Like Anthony said, they have one strike. Three spares for Central Park Lanes. Joe Duda, working a double strike here, though. Bowl of Ball Mafia, only 36. Thin hit. Got a break. Eight. Three to ten. Twenty in that first strike box. Right up high. Oh, nice. On spare. Second time he's done that. The string. They acted poor. You know, Mr. Bright. Nineteen at second strike box. That's a crucial miss right there. So sixty nine to four. From its 88 to 5, to 10, 98 to 6, 98 to 7 rather. So 69 and a half, 88 to 6, 98 to 7, Joe Duda. 
Kranapani had a spare strike in the second and third. Now a spare strike in the sixth and seventh here in the first. Tuda off to the right. It's a break. One, two, and the four. Pani, first bomb, a strike, eight. The six, seven split. I caught the Shannon Scribner shot. One of the best bowlers in Maine made the shot in the women's doubles event. Keep her team in the match. Now, now one behind the six might help him make this and get the six way on the right. No, he doesn't last. Let me try there. Nine to strike, though. Big Bill. 106 to seven. Joe Duda at eight. 106 to eight. Bonnie, nine. 115 to eight. What a string. 429, 424. The two times semi finalist in the U.S. Invitation in the last two years. Four bomb off here by five. And Anthony, what's the situation for the marks here? The, the big deal here is that Central Park saw those two stands for Phil. One right here for Steve Bonte. Will Damon's on the right for Bowling Ball Mafia, 65 through 6. That's a nice strike to 9. Four pin remains. Steve Bonte goes left. That's the Caleri. Seventy-one through six. So that five will make the match tied right now. That's right. Oh, so close, Damon. Can feel a breeze on that one. Marty almost three and six left up. Single pins go about seventy-two percent of the time for pro bowlers. Without wood, all stats provided by Canelton Bowling Network. Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third for a ten. Will Damon seventy-five. Through seven, Steve Bate, nine, 80 through seven. 439, 438, a one pin lead for Ball Ball Mafia. They have no marks on the board. Central Park Lanes has one. Should be a very entertaining finish. Yes. Damon, one, two, eight, nine. One piece of wood in front. Bate off to the left, five. He was he was at the calf on that right in front of the head pin, but not dead on. Like almost the corner of the calf. He might get that. That's how Anthony Cameron play it. Let's see how Damon plays it. That's the ball grand shot there. Yeah. Right. Marty just off by Speck. One four seven nine. Seabone really well have laid the Friday night pro league. The central one on Central Park Lane, East Boston. Game in a tough seven. 82 to 8. Bonte, oh, pretty oh, out. The rope walked right into the 10. He gets 9 out of that mess. So that, that flips the lead now. 89, uh, 89 through 8 for Steve Bonte. Go ahead, Anthony, sorry. That flips the lead now. Central Park ahead by one. Dean Sullivan, you that ball. You know, another good veteran bowler like yourself. You know, the other, he's always on his side to finish quite a bit, it seems like. Right. Punches are a lot. Big, big game mentality, also. There's such a small difference between a strike and a punch out. Oh, yeah. Anchor ball is up here now. Mark Order Gary. 152, 167. Your order's up. They will go for a while. They're not a while. They're up already. Did you order food, Anthony, at Pub 125? I just actually I just ate. I came out. I just had a nice lunch. It was really food's really good there. Mark Carrier, two one split the three six right, the four to the left. Chris Parkinson has the hay bale, the pack of five. He's got about thirty one percent of the time for pro bowlers on wood. Again, stats by Kenneth Bowling Network. Carrier trying to kick it over on the object pin. Like you said, sometimes. Matter of specs, right? Right. I mean, it's a little bit further than the right. Oh, look at this man! Was there. Got the train to get the 10 pin for Chris Parkinson. Mark Carey, 9, 97. But not only is that a great, uh, really big spare, but that really gets a, a lead now. It's not like the two spares to fill. Parkinson, 80 of all through 7 here in the first of three. Second of three matches on Canelton Ball and Everett. One more after this match, a separate broadcast. All the teams are recovering. We'll see at least twice. At least team, each team at least once. Some teams twice. Gary has the Cleary. Parkinson on the fill. Looks good. 
Taking that five to go, he's at the four, seven to the left. 90, make that 80, 77. They're in the lead again. Gary, good try. He's up to eight and a ten. That, that would be hard. The four and the five makes his lead make it. If he gets the four, it's probably going to swing back from five. Oh, he got it! Like Kathy said. <laughs> Anthony, the fortune teller. Back to back pass for Chris. 97 the ball through eight. Been struggling earlier in the week, but doing we well here in the first. Gary at eight, 99 through eight. Two bucks to go. For two points in the first string, 474, 464. Central Park Lanes as they switch sides, lead by 10. And with the Phils, you always think they're up by about 20. Yep. Average spare fill for Pro Bowl is 6.5%. Scaling on a bonus, Red Hot String 7, 1, 9, and 10. 1, 10 through 8. Jeff Lapierre, 89 through 8. Point of goal for 7, 10. Home Depot, Hobushan Hardware, Lowe's on the deck. So much wood. Yeah, I could try. Play the seven pin or the ten pin, the wooden front and probably get them. either way. Can that ball get through the hole somehow? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go through the hole. We want to be on either end. I, I would have probably found a way. Right. This is for a spare. Oh, oh, the ball hit the seven, wouldn't go. You gotta be kidding me. That was a tough break. Ten for Jeff Lapierre. No relation to Scott Lapierre. Scott Lapierre is brilliant. They cannot put the pants roll off his number five seed. December 18th live show at World Force of Olorama. Imagine Brian Fuller Jr. is on a 675. Not making the cut. That's tough. I, uh, I remember watching uh, Scott Laffey at a pro series there at the Palace about 10 years ago. He threw a 207 swing in the championship match with Sean McKinley, and I think that's still his high single. Yep. Kelly at 9, that last part is 119 through 9. He has the check mark left to 7. Lapier pinning well up, up, up that 7 8 start. And a strike in the 7 box. He breaks up the Parallel pins, that's the five pin left. Scally looks good, just missed. Almost stole it. That's the three pin. Start up with three spares around Justin Scally. Left the air, missed it. Scally 10. What a string. 129. Five marks, five spares. 129 for Justin Scally. Lapierre 9. Disappointing 108 string. 500 to 483. A 17 pin lead for Central Park Lanes. Over 28 and 4. Bowling Ball Mafia. Central coming in 10 and 22. Ryan Drago. Fifth box coming in the string. Scott in the fifth box. The lefty just off the left as a glaring. Mark Weber 88 through 8. Three spares in the string. He has the opposite Clary. That's funny. Clary's go about 20% of the time for Pro Bowl at Southwood. Stats again by Kenneth and Bowling Network. Drago goes right, just head pin left up. Mark Weber trying to break up the Clary. Oh, he got it! What a shot for Spare! 25 chance, he got it! I wish a lot of you was like that. How about 1 in 5 chance of winning? Really? Yeah, good luck with that. 98 to ball through 9. A good fill here. They I, think, I think Mary Lynn Bojowski, yeah, she should uh, she should make a, make a lottery like that. What do you think, Mary Lynn? With a good fill here. They get it down to single digits. Ryan Drago, a 9, 79 through 9. Took over after Dan Shukoff here at a 33 through 4. He's pinned well. A 10 and now four nines. Mark would help. His, his team's up by 16 right now. One spare for each side of the board. Raise the head pin. 
Five nine in the middle, seven ten close, a sea of wood. Weber kills nine. That looked good. Going just seven years old. He's a good, very young bowler. Could be really good. Brian wants to go right at the five. You know, he has a very good shot. Maine I mean, has a lot of good bowlers that aren't well known, but this guy has got game. Yep, I agree. Just kind of working his you know, mental game, being focused when he gets off track. It's hard for most young bowlers to focus. Yep. Like I couldn't do the eye bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Rago trying to sweep this over. He's got a bunch of wood to help. He pick it up. He does. On the board. The first mark combined with the shoe. Jane Gauthier, 89 of the ball. Nine. In the 10th. Weber right off for a spare. Back to back after a spare nine. Another spare. 107 through nine. 117 the ball in the 10th. Here we go back and forth again. There you go. Beautiful shot. Only three. Bullseye. 92 string. Mark Weber. Off to the right. Six. Nice string. 123. 522, 518. It's a four pin lead for Central Park Lanes. They have one mark on the board, none for Bowling Ball Mafia. With the average being 6.5, it's about 10, 11 in the lead. Right. That's just virtually. You'll get that dreaded lemon drop, too. Yep. Toronto's going to be a highest bowler. He's up there right now. Toronto, 150 through 8 of a great string. Nine. So he got Red Eagle plus the nine. He had double strike in the fifth and sixth box. He's at 106 through 8. Had a spare six in the second. Honey for spare. All over it. 125 and a ball the ninth for the postman. Joe gets three of the seven. They get the three, six, and ten. This is the first thing of three, second of three matches, all live on Canopin Bowling Network. Nine, two to one fifteen through nine. Joe, a high single of two oh one. One fifteen league bowler these days. High trouble four forty eight. High five six sixty seven. You can only dream about those stats. You only bowl once a week, what do you expect? Right. When I could bowl. Bonnie on the bonus. Can't get the seven to go. He's got the three six in the right. 132 through nine. Two does, slams the pocket. Eight. The two to left, the five to the right. A tight battle here in Haverhill at the World Tournament. Bonnie, another one. Try. Get the object pin. Duda for a spare. Got it. Spare in the 10th. 125 and a ball. Fourth block of the string. Bonnie, nine. What a string. 141. He does better than he does throw the mail, huh? Right. <laughs> he delivered here, though, today. He absolutely did. He knows how to deliver, I guess, either way, right? Well, let's hope he delivers a victory for his yeah. team. Four blocks to go in this thrilling first string. It's a 21 pin lead, the biggest lead, I think, of the string. At least in a while. Central Park in, in control right now. One spare piece for each side. And actually, that doesn't include Joe's mark. Hold on a second. At 10 to that total. Two to five, six. So that's 16 after that score. 131. So it's actually 548, 543. They're 15 to the register. A five pin lead of Fishman out. One spare, though, for Central Park Lanes. The anchor bowler, Chris Parkinson. Now it's the fourth bowler. It's Will Damon on the left for Bowling Ball Mafia. 82 to 8. Shut it off with a spare seven. Open since. Steve Bonte has two spares. He's open on now. 89 to 8. He only gets five. Right now, the advantage is in favor of Central Park Lanes. Damon, Abel, pack of five. 
takes the four horse Masonly with the eight behind the two. Monty misses to the right. One, three, eight, and ten. Slaps his side. As a ball, you always want to make those shots. Yeah. Especially this way oh. the yeah. you, you feel the adrenaline sometimes, it's like you're all amped up, it's like, ah, oh, darn. Right. I did that every time. I'm sure you don't want like a teammate That's like me at every shot. <laughs> Eight for Monty. 97-9. Mary Lynn, Mary Lynn used to kick my butt all the time in bowling. Ten. Well, David, 92 through nine, three blocks to go. I did have a 110 average one year, 107, 106, when I was at somebody. I saw him go four strikes in a row at the hub. But I got one thing all of you. I got the last strike at Kennel for Cash in 1980. So you did. My, only, my only claim to fame. Bocce. Nice ball. Eight. That's the five and the nine. Three pin lead for Central Park Lanes. Dana. Nice ball. Eight. He's got a two pinner. The two and the five. Wood to help. Bocce for a spare. Got it! Score the 10th! 107 the ball! Damon needs to match to keep the pressure off Mark Carrier. This is huge. He got it! Matching spares in the 10th! 102 the ball! Here we go, down the stretch! Three pin lead. Central Park Lanes has the lead. Both teams are coming up clutch when they need to here. Don't forget, they're capable of Chris Parkinson, but Central Park has a spear also. That's the point. Bocci on the bonus. Oh, Seven, oh, eight, one fifteen. First string for Steve B O T T E. Steve Bocci. Damon. Nice ball. Seven. One oh nine. First string. Two boxes to go. It's a four pin lead. Four seventy four. 574, 570, and Chris Parkinson can add to that right now. He's up against a dangerous bowler, Mark Carey, who was huge last year at Fuelish Invitational, leading his team to the finals. Only to lose to potential champion Price Wood Flooring. They've been in the finals the last two years at Fuelish Invitational. You watch last year's thrilling broadcast on Canada Football Network. On the bonus, nine! And a great piece of wood cost for the help. That's a huge nine drop. 106 to 8. 13 pins is the lead for Central Park. Mark might need two marks. He, he absolutely needs two, two marks. marks yeah. And there's one! That is clutch! 109 plus two. Pockets is spare! And Mark Terry might need a double now. If he goes a double, this is going to get really interesting. So it's 12 pins, I believe, right now, right? 12 pins. Uh, I see 13 up there. Thir 13. 13's the lead for Central Park. So Mark Carey is probably going to need another strike. Yeah, I would say definitely. Parkinson. Ended up big here on stretch. Six, seven. Carrier for double. Oh, oh, yeah. Boy, that looks good enough to be a double. He sets a, a dynamite. He pulled three house records at all play when I did the main money match uh, two. Incredible boy. Just a clinic. Parkinson. Oh, what a try! Oh, oh, he pushed the 10 near the gun and it holds up. You gotta be kidding me. I think I think that shuts them out. Yeah, we have a the ten. They still have a chance, I think. Uh, 13. I'm not sure, not maybe not. I think he could tie with a strike. Mark is a ten, one thirty-three. I, a strike would tie. Yeah. A strike to tie for one point. You almost had a double. Nice ball, Chris. No? Gary was clutch. Yeah, but they didn't add in the ninth block. And that will do it. So 28 and 4, Bolivar Mafia drops the first string to Central Park Reigns. A thrilling string. 131 from our carrier. 6 10.
to 602, eight pin win. And two more strings to go. Justin Scali, 129. Brad Apani, 141. Chris Parkinson, 133. The Heroes, the Central Park. Mark Carrier, 131. Joe Duda, 131. Mark Carrier, uh, Mark Weber, 123. To face their team. Paul Grant, Ron Lee, Anthony Cameron, and Mary Lynn hanging around with us, too, in the left. That was a pretty exciting first. I play. think Mary Lynn did some great play by play. What do you think? We had Kim Pelletier yesterday help out a couple of times. Second string underway. Jeff Lapier, the 1 7. Justin Scali has the Clary. That was a play you set up there on the 1 7. Yep. Yep, Lapia. You want to play by play, Anthony? Sure. All right. We'll give you a couple of boxes, right? Okay. Anthony Karen on the play by play. Anthony, tell See. the viewers who you are. Uh, my name's Anthony Karen. I've been mowing since I'm eight years old. Um, I've never been as good as these guys, but my peak out is averaging about 114. Uh, I currently bowl out on Lita Lanes in Nashua, and for the travel league, my home house is Lakeside Lanes in Manchester. Here. Okay. Hi, right, uh, Jeff drops three, and Justin drops six, leaving the one, three, six, and eight. Jeff misses right, leaving the one, seven, eight, and Justin punches out the head pin. He has the three, six, and eight left. And Jeff gets it for the ten. Justin has the ten. So Justin Scally has eighteen. Jeff Lafayette has twenty-three. Went two boxes into the second string. This is a three-string match. And uh, Central Park Lanes won the first string. I scored six ten to six oh two. Mark Weber is up on lane thirty six. He leaves the six nine ten triangle. Ryan Drago misses left and drops four. Rock Weber makes the stand. Now Ryan Gray goes up for his second ball. He misses left, leaving. Uh, I just want to see Mary Lynn do some play by play. Just even just one or two boxes. I'd love to see her do it. She'd be good at it. She's such a fierce competitor. I can just see her trying to outdo me here. I don't think she's motivated. <laughs> no pressure, Mary Lynn. That's a nine box for Ryan. Early on, Boy Ball Mafia has a six pin lead in the second string. So down two in the match. Right. Anthony Cameron on the play by play. Tell the viewers you have a chance about how many bowling outs you visited again. Huh? I've been to 155 different camel finales over about 40 years. Oh, and a strike for Ryan Drago! Mark Weber's looking at the fourth pin for a stair. And he gets it. This is uh, Anthony Gibbett, Karen giving Paul Grant a breather. We are going into the third ball is now the first two boxes of the second string. Looks like Bowling Ball Mafia has a 15 pin lead, four boxes into the second string. I'm now for Bowling Ball Mafia is Joe Duda. And he drops seven. Corrado Pani is going to Central Park Lanes. And he drops seven. 
So as the three and four, he wants to decide that wood is five into the four, and he does it. Tavares off on that one. He leaves the one in the seven. And Corrado gets a 10. Joe Duda is going to be filling a spare that he got in the first box. Looking at the increased bowling ball mafia's lead, which is currently at 15 pins. Joe drops six, he leaves the one, two, seven, ten. Cavallo drops four. That would have set up pretty well on Joe's lead. Oh, he misses it left. Leaves the one in the seven. Cavallo misses right and leaves the one in the nine. Sorry, guys. I was busy uh, selling a wow shirt to help campus for cancer. I was selling wow shirts for charity. Uh, made by Frank Luper Valley Chat with thick cotton, high quality Gildan brand. You, uh, you get twenty five dollars each. If you want to come down and get one. Every shirt we sell, ten dollars goes to charity. We sold over two hundred shirts, supporting at least four families suffering chemo rage treatment. That, that's wonderful. It's nice to see the charities doing that's so well. That's why I joke about teach people a lot about. It. I know I do it too much for some time, but that's why I do it because. It's a fun way to have a great cause. Right. You wear a wow shirt, you feel it's like a plain t-shirt. You feel better when you wear a wow. <laughs> right. Put you in a festive mood. Will Damon's up the bowling ball mafia. And he leaves a diamond. Stephen Body is up the Central Park lane. I always joke that it helps improve your average if you wear a wow shirt. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I still want to wear it if it was true. I tell a million if that was the case, huh? Yeah, right. Well, David leaves the five pin. I had a bowler in Maine. Uh, she bought a shirt for a team and she ripped in half. She had a bad, bad swing. She tore it in half. Oh, no! It's like tearing the American flag on table. <laughs> Season body makes a spare. And Will David gets a ten. All right, keep it going, Anthony. So, uh, Boy Bowl Mafia now has a 20 pin lead, seven boxes in. Stephen Body has a spare to fill when he throws his next ball. Will Damon with a strike! Stephen Body throws his spare with 8 9. Well, it's his own business. Uh, Damon distrib distributed his own copy in different shops, so if you're in the main area, Damon just anything that's copy. This, this, this 10 pin looks so easy, but sometimes the wood flies in weird directions. But he got it. Alright, that cuts into the lead. Now, uh, Boyne Ball Mafia is only ahead by 11. Mark Carrier coming off the Boyne Ball Mafia. And Chris Parkinson is coming off the Central Park Lanes. The overall score in the match is 698 to 695 with uh, Boyne Ball Mafia in the lead. And Mark Carrier drops 9. And Chris Parkinson drops 6. Mark Carrier looking at the 4 pin. And oh, he misses the left. Oh, great try for Chris, but he leaves the seven pin up. And that's a ten for Mark Carrier. And that's a nine for Chris Parkinson. So now, uh, Boy Mo Mafia has a four pin lead in the string and a four pin lead in the mat. That's a great first swing, wasn't it? 610 to 602. It's close back and forth all swing long. Came right down to the final ball. 
Bruno Belmonte upset two teams on paper in the first round of the U.S. Invitation last year to get to the finals. The quarterfinals, I mean, they were just tremendous matches. Yeah, I, I was losing my mind. It was so exciting. I had no voice. I sound like Johnny Moss. I steal my bird. I'm, I got there. I remember that. Uh, Mark Carey comes up the stair. That was a lot of fun, though. That was great. You know? yep. So I'm pacing myself, like Bob Lee said. Yeah, Save my voice, so thanks for helping out. Last year, last year was Josh Daly's week. He won the singles, he won high average, and then his team won the championship. The Paltry 478 semifinals, high triple. Unbelievable. He had two strings in the 180s in that triple. 183, 111, and 184. Just that's incredible. Just, that's, just, that's just wrong. <laughs> he was on a mission that day. Tell the viewers your high single, your high triple, all your high stuff. Uh, my personal high single is 195, my high triple is 442, and uh, my high five is 696. Those are both, in my younger days, I was a much better bowler. You're 50... I'm 51. I'm the same age as Tim Matero. And I said, I'm actually a couple of months older than him, because he was born in August, I'm born in May. Okay. Alright, back to live action with Anthony Karen on Canopy Bowling Network. Your choice. Your station for all things Kimmelman. Oh, that's a nice spare by Jeff Lapierre. This guy is an explosive bowler, one of the top bowlers in Maine also. He can bring it. He won two main money matches in a row. Mark Weber. So, uh, Boymore Mafia is up to 22 pin, 20, no wait a minute, a 14 pin lead in the spring right now. Justin's off to the left. He only knocks out the six and the nine. Gets on the head pin, but he leaves six pins standing. What's very interesting is, are you, are you cutting inside the two and the four, or are you going to go outside? I think you want to put the two four, almost if the wood's not even there, and just cut it right over, and the wood will help you. No, he missed it. That's how I play it. It's up to uh, six blocks to Dustin. It's been funny here to close to a start now, 32 through 4. It's a funny game, isn't it? Yeah, it happens. Did you have, I don't know, it happened to me too. I got a, I got a 136 one time, an 81 and a 169. Isn't it weird? It, it's, Why do you think that is? <laughs> Bowling is a crazy game. I can't explain it. I actually had triple ones. I went 164 and then 89, 87. So how do you explain it? You know, it just it comes and goes so easy. It's such a small margin between bowling ball and struggling. I know someone got a 194. Gonna give me a good one. 194. The first thing you get Funny game. It's a skillful, challenging game. It's so rewarding. Right. I I knew a guy named Paul Matevi who had a triple of 91, 95, and 203. Wow. He has a 389 triple. It was a, a string over 200. Wow. Not how you start, it's how you finish, I guess, huh? I guess so. <laughs> All right, back to the action for Anthony Carroll. All right, Ryan's looking at the five and the seven. He has really nice wood in front of the five. I can't stand him. It looks like no no cross up there. I think it's pretty late in the frame. All right. Oh, he misses it right. Trying to go right outside. I think anywhere in that would have taken it, but he didn't hit it. Mark Rubber leaves the 2 4. And now they're both going for 10s. You know, I want to give a shout out to Laura Weber, uh, Mark's mother, who's put up with him so long. <laughs> so, Laura, hope you're watching. Your son is a great bowler. Just please keep him in line, okay? <laughs> Brian Drago gets a 9 box. Mark Weber gets an 8. Let's see, now the lead is 15 pins to Bowling Ball Mafia in this string. He was making fun of her during the interview of the main money match one, you know? Yeah. I said, nice son, huh? <laughs> it's all tongue in cheek, of course. Funny. I guess it's a dry sense of humor, though. Brian Drago goes right, leaving the. Oh, wait a minute, you got 9 drop. A nice wood in front of the 9 pin. That should be a slam dunk. Mark Weather drops eight, leaving the six and the seven. His was a little tougher. Yeah, 
And Ryan makes it for the spare. I think Mark Webb usually bowls at a very fast pace. Sorry, Anthony, go ahead. Right, I think on this one, he wants the left hand tip of that wooden try to spin something off the wall to get the seven. I think if he goes right, he doesn't have the angle to reach it. So Shin has been a shot of 42 miles an hour. Oh, good try. He had the right idea. Shin made that exciting shot in the women's double events and give him a chance to win the match. Another great bowler, Maine, Shannon Scribner. Yep. There's like several state, main state titles. Is that ladies' international tournament this weekend? Yeah, this weekend. Yeah. Canada. Yep. All right. So, Boy Ball Mafia has a 15 pin lead. We are halfway through the boxes three and four, the second string. You know, it's good too. We're, we're trying to expand in the main, and I think I think it's exploding up there now. The coverage is getting better. More people get excited about bowling more, I think. And now they have the ACST up there now, also. It's going to count the 16 teams up by Martin. Yeah, Huff here, the team captain. It seems like it seems like after the pandemic, count from bowling after we had a resurgence. And I think that's because a lot of people missed the game. Big spare for Corrado. Joe Duda trying the match, and he does. Match is spare. So we're trying to get out to all over the place. So we're trying to do some regular leagues, anything like a kids' tournament or a kids' TV show to count up the cancer to raise awareness for cancer, but also get the kids out on TV, get them excited about the future possible. So there's a lot of things in the plans that works. Probably has a lot of great ideas too. I think it's fascinating all the wonderful things that people are doing for this game. Well, look at the king of the hill. He likes semi pro bowls and 80 averages, 90 averages. But that's good for them because he gets them fired up and then he's better and better. A absolutely. You need, you need your handicap bowlers to keep the game going. Yep, absolutely. And sometimes they're a little nervous the first time being screamed after that, they're fine. Right. Uh, Kavad draws six on his spare. And Joe Drew has six on his spare. And oh, he chopped on the head pin. I think, too, they can also watch my video and see what they're doing, working the mechanics, see what they're doing wrong, see what they're doing right. And it's a cool fact to your friends, too, they tell their friends, maybe they'll bowl and join a league. Right. So how many times do you hear people, I joined the league because my friends told me about it? Half my bio, it's friends and family going to be involved in bowling. So the, the more we can get exposed, I think the greater the sports can do. Right. My mother, my mother got me into the game, and so when I was a kid, in that, and that was, I just loved it. So I hope we get to Canada the next year sometime. So, love to go up there. How about the world's next November in Canada? Yeah, hopefully, you get a free airline ticket, Andy. Let me know. Okay. When I, I actually went to watch the 2019 Worlds in Monster, and I drove up there. It was an eight-hour drive. That's not too bad. You get two people going, right? Right. Yeah, I, I drove with my son. The body misses to the left. He drops four. Will David filling a strike? He gets nine. Almost a double. Oh, nice try for Steven Body, but he leaves a three and a six. Doing a great job, Anthony. Oh, thank you. My voice says thank you. <laughs> well, hopefully you still have a voice on Saturday this week. I'm more prepared for it. I'm not sure I'm always prepared, but we'll just fail to knock out that spare. It's hard not to get excited, though. Right. I get excited for C, C Division matches, too. Right. Speaking of C Division matches, I want to give a huge shout out to Mike Daniels. He bowled me in a C Division match a few days ago. He threw his, the Atlantic Health and Singles Court. Yes. He threw his first ever triple strike. He threw his highest spring ever, which was a 148, and his highest for five, which is a 549. That's what Danny Finn and talked about on the approach podcast. Danny Finn and Jeremy Seal. We want to get young bowlers because C bowlers can become B bowlers, B can become A. Sometimes you can take a step back like you did with injuries, right? But it's good for the game, it's good for them. They have the bowl, but it's make money too. Right. Because not, not everybody's an A level bowler, so you want to give the lesser bowlers something to compete in as well. Right. And a lot of those C matches are close, so yeah, a lot of great matches. So Atlanta came up in similar to a try, try to get, love to get something like that in Canada going too. Well, Maybe they can do a Moncton ACST. <laughs> that would be great if it ever happened. Uh, Steve Body 
gets the seven pin for a ten box. And Will Damien gets a nine. So we are at a 222 for Bowling Ball Mafia, a 194 for Central Park Lane. This is a 28 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. And in the match, they're leading by 20. Chris Parkinson is getting up here on lane 36 for Central Park. And he drops seven. Mark Carey is filling a spare for Bowling Ball Mafia. And he drops six on it, leaves a two, four, five, and seven. Chris Parkinson makes it a spare. And Mark Carrier makes his spare. Matching spares in the third box. It's now a 34 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia for the second string. Chris drops seven, leaves the three, four, six, tough split. Mark Carrier for his spare drops nine, leaving the ten pin. Oh, great try by Chris, but the four pin stays up. And there is there by Mark Carrier. Three in a row for Mark. Ten blocks to Chris Parkinson, and the lead is up to 36 in the string and 28 in the match. <laughs> All right, looks like we have a lineup change. Sean Landry is in for Justin Scally. Jeff Lafayette draws five. John Landry drops seven. <laughs> Jeff leaves the one and the eight. And, and Landry makes the spare. They need that spare because they're down quite a bit right now. Jeff Lafayette makes a nine box. The lead right now is 35 pins to Bowling Ball Mafia, but uh, Landry's filling a spare, so that'll cut into it a little bit. And then Ryan Drago also has a spare when he gets up there. Jeff Lafayette leads the one, two, four, and eight. Ooh, tough fill, only one for Landry. That's a nice spare for Jeff Lapierre. Landry leaves five pins up, the one, the three, the four, the nine, the ten. And he gets a nine. So right now we are at 276 for Bowling Ball Mafia, 241 for Central Park Lanes in the second string. If you missed the first string, Central Park Lanes will now win 610 to 602. Now we got Mark Webbier up for Bowling Ball Mafia, Ryan Drago for Central Park Lanes. Mark drops six, leaving the diamond. Three, five, six, and nine. 
Ryan Drago filling the snare. He's got seven. Wood comes out. He's got the five, six, and ten. Wood rolling out. Oh, that's a stay in the plate. Oh! Oh! Rock Willow almost taking the diamond from behind. Alright, Ryan wants to hit that, trying to get that wood to come off the wall for the five pin. Oh, that was a nice try. But did it go? Mark Weber going for a 10 box. And he's got it. Ryan Drago going for a 10 box. He misses. That was an 8. So right now the lead is 30 pins to bowling ball mouth here in the second string. Rock Weber getting ready to throw his first ball in the sixth box. Okay. Nine draw for Mark Weber. Ryan Drago needs the one, the two, the nine, the ten. Wood behind the one and the two that may help him making the shot. And Mark Weber makes it there. Oh, Ryan misses left. Leaves up the one and the nine. Oh. All right, if Ryan Drago gets the nine box. So we are looking at 296 for Bowling Ball Mafia, 265 for Central Park Lanes. We are about halfway through the second string here in a three string match. Overall, the overall lead belongs to Bowling Ball Mafia, 898 to 875. So, do the draw nine, leaving the six pin. Cavado Pani's up there for Central Park Lanes. Okay, he drops eight, leaving the seven and the ten. Tough lead. Joe Duda makes the stare. Cavado leads the seven. And it's a 10 box. If you missed the first string, Central Park Lanes won that string 610 to 602. In the second string, it's Bowling Ball Mafia in the lead 306 to 275. Joe Duda is filling us there. Oh, half listed, two filling us there. Cavado Pani. Oh, he's the half whistle. I mean, the spread eagle plus the nine ten. Two tough leads. Joe Duda has five pins left for his third ball, and so does Cavado. Oh, he makes that. That's a nice ten box out of that. And Colorado gets a six. We now have Will Damon coming up for Boy and Ball Mafia and Stephen Body for Central Park Lanes. Oh, 
Raven drops four. Stephen Barty is off to the left. He's going up to four in the nine. Four in the eight, I mean. Two tough leads here. Oh, great try by Will Damon, but he leaves the 10 pin. Stephen Barty is off to the right. He has the one, the two, the six, the seven, and the ten. Going for a ten box. Will Damon just has the ten pin for his ten box. And he's got it with the wood. Stephen Barty curves it right in there and gets a nine box. Right now it's a 38 pin lead in this second string for Bowling Ball Mafia. Will Damien gets ready to fire his sixth box in the string. Tough split, he leaves the two, the four, and the ten. Stephen Barty toss out the half whistle on the right. Damon get ready for his second ball. He gets he leaves the ten pin up. Stephen Barty leaves the one in the seven. And it's a ten box to go, Damon. And the nine blocks for Stephen Body. All right, the uh, up to the Yankees bowl is now bowling their fifth and sixth box. Bowling Ball Mafia has a 39 pin lead in the second string. Mark Carey gets up there on lane 36 for Bowling Ball Mafia. And he drops six. Chris Parkinson gets up there and he drops seven. He leaves the four, six, and ten. Much, much more makeable lead for Mark Carrier on this one. And Mark makes it. Does a spare. And Chris Parkinson tries the four pin. It doesn't work. He's got six, ten left. And Chris Parks he gets a 10. This is Anthony Karen filling in for Paul Grant, giving him a little breather. Mark Carey is up there against the Boy Ball Mafia. And he drops 6 7, leaving the 3, the, three, the 4, and the 10. Hey, right, do you want to finish up the string? I'll do the third string. Okay, how's that? That's follow me. Paul Green, Anthony Karen, Mary Lynn, hanging out with us, not talking to us, <laughs> and Bob Lee on Canlip and Bowling Network. We're well, actually subscribe free on Canlip and Bowling Network. On YouTube, it's free. Watch countless hours of great videos, over 300 videos, put up by Bob Lee, our executive producer and founder. <laughs> Kenneth Mullen Network on YouTube. Uh, Mark got an 8th that box, and Chris Parkinson got a 10. So right now the lead is 50 for Bowling Mall Mafia in the second string. <laughs> Uh, let's see, that was an eight draw off for Sean Landry. And Jeff Lafayette dropped seven, leaving the three, the five, and the ten. 
Here's the spear for Sean Landry. Jeff Lapierre looking at the three, the five, and the ten, and he makes it! Matching spears in the seventh box. John Landry filling his spare. And he gets six, leaving the four, six, seven, ten. Very tough leave. Jeff Ralphie, go. Red Eagle. Two very tough leaves. Landry has wood on this. I'm assuming he's going to go to the left and try and send something off the wall. And he tried it, but nothing happened. Try to get one of these on Landry at some point. He's throwing, in, he's throwing 45 miles an hour. Oh, great try for Jeff Lapier, almost making the spread eagle, but the two pin stays up. And it's a nine box for Sean Landry. And it's ten box for Jeff Lapier. So right now the lead is 400 for uh, Bowling Ball Mafia, 344 for Central Park, so that's a 56 pin lead. Ryan Frago is up there for Central Park Lanes. He's a tough lead. That's the five, the seven, the eight. Mark Weber firing for Bowling Ball Mafia. He drops five, leaving the one, the two, the seven, eight, nine. Two very difficult leads. Oh, Ryan just misses to the right. Mark Weber, well, almost gets some action from behind, but he leaves a two pin. And that's a nine box for Ryan Drago. And that's a 10 box for Mark Weber. This is uh, Anthony Karen filling in for Paul Grant. And we are in uh, seven and eight boxes in the second string. Anthony Karen, the play by play. Mary Lynn just watching this. Mary Lynn, a great supporter of Central Park Lanes. Right, there you go. Official scorekeeper on Friday night. Holy. Oh. Tough lead for Ryan. He leaves the two, the six, and in the back row. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Mary Lynn doesn't talk much. She does, she does all the talking on the lanes. Mark Weber leaves the one, the two, and the seven. He is the cap here. He's got a chance to make this, but he wants to be a little left to right. Oh no, he went in the space. And Mark Weber misses, leaving the head pin. And Ryan Drago gets the six box. And Mark Weber the ten.
So right now, Bowling Ball Mafia leads the second swing 425 to 359. Toronto Pani is getting up on lane 36. Joe Duda on lane 35. Cavado goes left, leaving the one seven eight ten. So Duda is a little full, but he leaves the seven ten. Very tough leave. Oh, great shot for Corrado, making the one seven eight ten. Oh! Joe Duda almost gets the 10 pin off the wall, but it stays up. And now the bowling ball is in the way and will probably have to be removed. Uh, nope, it fell off the pit. And Joe Duda gets the 9 box. Big lead for Bowling Ball Mafia right now. I have. I made 12 appearances on the King of the Palace TV show, and I made uh, one appearance on a TV 30 show. My big highlight was uh, in the King of the Palace TV show when they had the Spread Eagle jackpot. I was the first person ever to hit it. You, and got, I, you got the first championship belt too, right? Yeah, I got the first championship belt. That's also true. You still have that? No, they don't let you keep it. Ah, boo. <laughs> you, only get, you only get to show it off on TV, and then they take it back. But Dennis Nuzzo, who was an announcer on that show, won so bad, and I beat him off for the first championship, and I don't think he ever ended up winning one. And that was a lot of money back then. It was like $300 and something, dollars, right? I won, I won like 350 for the championship, then another 150 for the Spread Eagle Jackpot. So it was a $500 day. Uh, Joe Duda gets a spare. And Karate Pani gets a nine box. Tell the viewers about the new pub, 125 here, Academy Lanes. Uh, well, I know they got pizza. What else do they have for food? Chicken tenders, pretzels, pub food. They have uh, all kinds of stuff. A full bar, gorgeous looking, and uh, it's a great place to hang out. It's awesome. Well, very friendly people. What I really like is they got tables right by the windows, so you can actually watch the bowling while you're eating. That is really cool. You go to like a place like Webster Timberlane's, John Pumphrey's house in Abington, Mass. They actually put up camp and bowling shows on the screen in Lucy's bar. That's nice. Uh, half list of a seen body. It's pretty scary seeing myself on the screen. <laughs> Five ten for Will Damon. Uh, stats for round four. You should probably talk about these instead of uh, wow. <laughs> Okay. All right, Will Damon's wood is set up pretty well on the 510. I think if it's the red line on the left piece, he's going to get this. Oh, oh, I hit the right piece. That's why he went better off on the left piece. And Stephen Body gets a six box. And Will Damon gets a nine. Bowling Ball Mafia control here on the second string. Not losing the first by eight. Um, so the, through the first four rounds, Outlaw rides 28 and four, tie with Bowling Ball Mafia. Price with flooring 26 and six to the defending champs of the U.S. Invitational anyway from last year. Academy Lanes 24 and eight, Fenway Academy 16 and 16, along with high grade Millbrook. Able team is 14-18, Team USA 14-18, Central Park Lanes here 10 and 22 coming in, M Hole 8 and 24, Avon Valley Lanes 8 and 24, Valverians 0 and 32. Stephen Body has the four and the seven standing, and uh, Will Damon is looking at the three six seven. You got a spare. That's true. And it's a nine box for Stephen Body. So we are approaching the end of the seven and eight boxes here.
Point Ball Mafia has a 463 to 395 lead in the second string. And it was Central Park Waynes winning the first string, 610 to 602. <coughs> Half Whistler for Chris Parkinson. Oh, Mark Perrier has a strike, increasing the lead. Chris Parkinson has the four and five left for a ten box. So in this division, there's two divisions. Division Billy Bloom has a high average so far after four matches, 133. Joe Duda here, 132 average, 0.33. Tim Matero, 132. Tim Jalbert, 128.42. Mike Brown, 127.45. Danny Harris is sixth. He just threw a 427 in the first round today. 126.58. They'll go higher now. And Mike McGinty is 10th at 124.82. Uh, other people in the top 10 Corey Packard, 126. Joey List at 125. Justin Waters, 125. Adam Lanson, 11th at 124.78. And Calvin Locke, 124.67. And Chris Merrill in there also, 124.71, winning the singles knockout Monday night. Watch that on Kenneth Bowling Network. Chris Parkson leaves the four and the seven with wood in front. Someone on lane 34 is cleaning a ball, clearing a ball, so uh, we'll wait for Mark Harris waiting before he throws his shot. The averages go as low as 89, but some people just ball one string sometimes. And the thing, too, is if you start a string and you sub it up to two boxes, and then someone throws a one, you know, picks your place. And they do good, it goes on the other person's name, so it goes both ways, but ranging anywhere from 89, but most bowlers, you know, 100 to 130 range, 130 for the top score. For the top bowlers, there are 25 bowlers, I'm sorry, uh, 23 bowlers, 120 better options. Spare for Chris Parkinson. Eight on the strike for Joe uh, Mark Carrier, and he leaves the one in the ten. But like for example, Billy Bloom is 133, but he's only bowled one string, so it can be misleading, like a batting average of baseball in the season. Right. And it's a nine box for Mark Carrier. So we're entering the final two boxes in the second string. It's going ball mafia for the 490 to 413 lead. I'm really excited to come up and see the Canadian bowl. We got to see the Canadian bowls, two teams head to head today. But it's great to see them bowl. You see the names on Facebook, it's great to see them in person, I'm friends personally. Right, because we don't see them that often because they're from Canada. They don't get the recognition the they, don't get the recognition they deserve. They're right. really top-notch bowlers there. I mean, they got a lot of them. <laughs> Jeff Lapia firing on lane 36. He's got nine. Sean Landry drops another 7-10. Boy, we're seeing that leave a lot right now. Of the NFL season, huh? Right. It's CFL season for the Canadians. That's a spare for Jeff Lapierre. Another spare. Great shot using the wood to make the 7 10 for Sean Landry. Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh, Sean Landry placed uh, Justin Scally in the fifth box. That's a great 129 string. All right, so it's a, a strike for Sean Landry. Jeff Lavier filled his spear with five. I want to shout out to Stephen Ashey, 16 year old from Maine, and 108 league bowler in the world tournament. His first, he came in like the fifth box of the string yesterday. His first ball in the world, pressure on him, strike. That's, that's great. He bowls the Atlantic Kennelton singles tour in Maine. He signed up one hour, they had 15 teams only. He signed up one hour before the season started to a 152 in his first string. He has a 162 since also. That's fantastic. Out of all play in Belfast, Maine. Shout out to Paul Dyer, at all play in Belfast, Maine. So Jeff Lafia finishes in the 8th box, and Sean Larry is filling his strike fill in the 10th. He drops 7, leaving the 2, 4, and 7.
Well, Jeff Lapia, 227 his first two. And that's a seven fell for 114, but that's a good comeback in the last two boxes. So that's how Jeff Lapia, the money, main money match three on Kenneth Bowen Network. He was just, just scoring it that day. Mark Weber comes up for Bowling Ball Mafia, and Ryan Grego will be bowling for Central Park. So Mark Webber out of Bangor Brewer Lanes in Bangor, Maine, 2.6 pound bowling balls. Belfast, Maine, high single 195, high triple 444, high 5714. He draws five on his first ball. Mike Mango gets a strike. Central Park showing some life lay in the second string. Oh, good try from Mark Webber. Mark's high 10, 13.41, high 20, 23.81. He has a Pro Series title, he won in 2019. And his 195 high single is his favorite bowling moment. His hobby? Bowling. Mine too. Full figure, right? 10 blocks of Mark Webber. Just pulling his seventh season. And his upside is humongous, like I said earlier. And I, he, no bowling balls in the ceiling today. He's another very talented bowler from the state of Maine. He'll <laughs> be covering a money a, a match in Maine on December first, a pro league with Jeff Lapierre and people like that. A pro league Thursday night, December first. Never on Kenneth Bowling Network, six thirty, seven o'clock that night, December first. Oh. Like Paris, Maine, West Neely Junior's house. With stars and strikes. Ryan Drago! Oh, tough break. Boy, Mark leaves a 9 10 and Ryan leaves a 7 8. That is some tough breaks right there. Mark misses with the second ball. Oh, Ryan's in the gutter. So now they're both going for 10 boxes. And Mark misses everything again. So 113 for Mark Webber, 236 through 2. Here from Haverhill, Mass. At the World Tournament, day 2. Ryan gets a 9 box and a 112 string. So... Six boxes left in the second string, and Bowling Ball Mafia is leading at 531 to 477. It's going to look like they're going to tie up the match right now, two points apiece, more than likely. They've also got two more spares on the board versus one for Central Park Lanes. Joe Duda fires, leaves the. Oh, again, the 710. Boy, we have seen that leave a lot right now. Toronto fires and gets four. When I announce it's a lot of half whiskers and spread eagles. Yeah. You know, that that would have been right that's near the 10 pin. He might be able to get that something to come off the wall with that. Oh no, going the other way. He did come pretty close. Oh, good try for Corrado, but he leaves a 10 pin. It's an example. He had a 141 for a string, and now he's fighting to get 100 here in the second. Corrado Pani. That happens a lot in this game. It's crazy. I ask balls a lot how that happens. I get 20,000 different answers, it seems like. <laughs> we want to know ourselves. I know. The mystery of can and bowling. Right? You get in that groove, and you think you got it going, and then nothing happens. Joe Duda leaves the Caleri leave up, and uh, Corrado draws four, leaving the one, three, four, six, seven, nine. Oh, Joe Duda draws out the two pin. Joe Duda, French King Bowling Center from Irving, Massachusetts. He's his 2.6 and 2.7 pound bowling ball. His father got involved growing up. High single of 201, 
height, triple 448, high 5667. His high 10 is 1182, high 20, 2258. Adams, Massachusetts. Joe Duda finishes with a 114 string. And Corrado gets an A for a 99. A lot of hooting on here today. A lot of people are fired up. That's why one of his voices by the end of the week. Well, one thing I love about this tournament is the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. You have so much excitement. It's probably the best tournament in Carrollton going. So, Will Damon will be getting up on lane 36 and Stephen Body on lane 35. So Bull Mafia will have the lead in the match after two strings. We tied two points apiece. Coming in 28 and 4. Central Park 10 and 22 coming in. Bull Damon is off to the right. He only gets three. Oh, oh that's right. He's throwing a spare. Uh, Stephen Boy leaves the five and the ten. Oh, he missed it too far left. All right, Will Damon has three left for a 10 box. And he gets an eight. Stephen Body gets, also gets an eight. It is a 63 pin lead for Boy Ball Mafia, and there are three boxes left in the second string. Well, Damon fires, and he leaves the clearing. Stephen Body leaves the one, the three, and the eight. Well, Damon misses left, leaves the four horse on the right. Oh! Oh, he got it! Great shot by Stephen Body for the spare. And it's a seven box for Will Damon. Chief Body's uh, bowling hero is Gary Carrington. He's also a basketball player, football player, or likes to play basketball and football. It's lunchtime, past lunchtime. He likes chicken cutlets. His favorite, favorite food. Stephen Bly is getting ready to fill a spare to finish out his second spring. Well, you're hungry. Come on down to Pub 125 here at Academy Lanes. And he gets a half whister for a 105 spring. I hate that dreaded half whister. Yeah. What's your least, that's my least favorite chop, which you was. Any chop out uh, 105 is brutal because you're on the head pin. And if you're filling a spare, you only get two. That's very frustrating. <laughs> All right, so we're up to the final two strings. I mean, two boxes in the second string. Uh, Chris Parkinson is filling a spare. Mark Carrier drops six, leaving the four horsemen right. Chris Parkinson gets five. And now it's filling a spare. And Mark Carrier gets us there. Mark Carrier being Mark Carrier here in a second. Oh, Great shot sure for Chris Parkinson for the spare. Fun, th fun thing about Chris Parkinson, his favorite bowling moment, he got a spread eagle for a spare on a bonus ball. Then the following ball, he punched out the 189 spread eagle plus the five pin. And he got a second spare for that. So two great shots in a row for spares. Mark Carrier fires and he gets seven on his fill. Chris Parkinson gets six on his fill. Mark up to 130 through nine. Well, 13 34 in all fast main. That main money match, too. He loses the six pin. Ten string house record at the high single. And high five there, also. And Chris leaves the three and the five. And it's a ten box for Mark Carrier. 
Again, in case you didn't know, Mark Carey have purchased the 1710 Bowling Center in, in Augusta, Maine, the last couple of months. So if you're in the Belfast area, Augusta area, stop by 1710. So we are done with the second string now, and it's a 599, the 544 win for Bowling Ball Mafia. And after two strings, they lead in the match 1201 to 1154. 47, one string to go. All right, thank you, Anthony Karen, Paul Grant, Anthony Karen, Bob Lee on Canopy Bowling Network. Please subscribe free on YouTube to Canopy Bowling Network. All things Canopy, semi-pro to pro. Hundreds of videos and a lot more. Canopy Bowling Network, free on YouTube. Please subscribe free today and tell your friends to do so also. So two points apiece here in our second of three matches. From Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass, Club 125. Our next match is going to be M. Hall and Abels. Abels from Canada. I'm going to call them M H M H. Okay, first thing about the start. Okay, Anthony, checking the subs check the substitutions. I gotta check the substitution. Take away, Anthony. I gotta get the substitutions here. Hold on. Let me get the substitutions. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Uh, we'll sign the third string. Stephen Barty is now the first bowler for Central Park Lanes, and Will Damon is now the first bowler for Boy More Mafia. Stephen Body fires, he gets four. Will Damon fires and gets six. Steve Body jumping up to the leadoff spot here. Central Park Lanes to start the third. And he leaves the one, the five, and the eight, nine after two shots. Oh, good try for Will Damon, but he leaves the five pin. And it's a nine box for Stephen Body. Will Damon now lead off spot for Bowling Ball Mafia. Will gets a nine box. So matching nines in the first box. Dean Sullivan in the fourth spot now. Bowling Ball Mafia. Stephen Body fires and gets gets nine, leaving the four pin. Well, Damon gets up there and he gets he gets five, six, six, leaving the one, the seven, the eight, and the ten. And Stephen Body makes the spare. Now, Wood is pretty favorable for Will Damon. Oh, but he misses it left. I'd like to thank Bob Lee doing an outstanding job, top notch, G genius when it comes to math and, and uh, <laughs> technology. It just does a great job for us. And the founder of Spread Eagle Productions now, Kenneth Ball Network. He's doing all the dirty work behind the scenes, which, if I had to do it, we'd never be on the air. Okay. Will Damon gets a seven box. He has 16 after two. Stephen Body with uh, 19 in the ball. Now Brian Drago will be getting up on the right, and Mark Wilber will be getting up on the left. This is our fifth match of 11 this week. Back tomorrow, we we'll have one more match after this separate broadcast on Candle and Bowling Network. Back live tomorrow, Wi-Fi pending, 9, 12, and 3, time approximate. And Friday, the final two rounds, qualifying rounds, and first round of the playoffs Friday night here on Candle and Bowling Network. Saturday morning at 9 starts the quarterfinals and the semifinals. The thrilling finals on Alley Chat at 3 p.m. time approximately with Frank DeLuca, Kyle Bruce, Brendan O'Dowd, Jordan Britton, and Corey Lisi. They both, uh, Ryan Ross 5 and Mark Webb against the Spread Eagle.
Ryan Drago drops off the two. He still has four pins standing. And Mark Webber just gets the four pin. Now they're both going for ten boxes. Ryan Drago ends up with a seven. And Mark Webber ends up with a six. Tough boxes for both of them. So coming to the ship, Anthony, uh, Outlaw Rides uh, led 28 and 4. Bone Ball Mafia tied. On the tiebreaker, it goes to Outlaw Rides. Bone Ball Mafia 28 and 4. And this team here, Central Park Lanes, uh, 10 and 22 coming in. They split the first two. Bone Ball Mafia lead the match. Ryan Drago drops six, leaving the one. The eight, nine, ten, and Mark Webber drops nine. He's got tough wood in front of that eight pin, though. Yeah. 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 Oh, spear for Ryan Drago. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Anthony. Great job. Thanks for giving the boys a rest. You're welcome. Ronald Pony, the captain of Central Park Lanes out of East Boston, Mass. At a 141.99 in the second. 240 through 2, selling his third spring in lane 36 at Academy Lanes, Pub 125. The World Tournament, day 2. Nice ball, look at this. 5-9 in the middle, 7-10 post. Joe Duda, 2 won't go into the 5. Bonnie, oh, good try. Now he's with a 7. Nine, ten, three quarter uh, picket fence. He just open. Prado with an eight. Judah, nine. 44 41 early in the third string. Central Park up by three. Trying to split. They're down 44 in the match right now. They could still win the match. Thrilling for a string, 608 to 600. No, 610 to 602. 6, 8 points. <laughs> Same thing. 610, 602, you're right, Anthony. And this is Susie Special. Matt Susie made the shot in the Sunday police. So I caught the Susie Special, but Matt made it without wood. So it's not really a Susie Special. Yeah. And he's at the board with discount of 5 and 10. Buda, off to the right. He won a 5 out of 7 New Year's Day tournament at Riverwalk Lanes, Eastbury, Mass. He won the Richie Mayer Doubles Elimination Tournament in the past also. Connie a 9, 17 through 2. Duda a 9, 18 through 2. First six boxes in the first, third string, it's 53 50, three pin lead for Central Park Lanes. Here's Dean Sullivan filling in the third string. The veteran bowler from Manchester, New Hampshire. Pulls the Atlantic Cannon and singles to a Class A division out of Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire. This is Sean Landry on lane 36, got the 2 and the 10. Dean Sullivan, 3. Dean overall average 118, high single 193, high triple 450. Has a high 5, high 10. Production high five seven twenty high ten thirteen twenty one Landry's open as is Dean and my mistake Dean Sullivan's high five let me just do it over again front sheet Dean one ninety three high single high triple four fifty high five seven eleven high ten thirteen hundred plus doesn't have the exact number but over thirteen hundred. Nine for Sean Landry, eight for Dean Sullivan. Right. 
MH next match against Abels from Canada. Landry gets four. Sullivan, half Worcester. Nice ball, almost. Oh, he did get it. To the back channel, spare. For Sean Landry, 19 of the ball through two here in the finals, bringing the match. Our second of three today on Candlepin Bowling Network. Your home for all things Candlepin. Candlepin Bowling Network. Sullivan, eight. 16 through two. Thank you, boss. Chris Parkinson for Central Park. Mark Carrier for Bowling Ball Mafia. Again, finalists last two years. Watch someone last year's exciting U.S. Invitational on Kenneth Bowling Network. They were fantastic. Bob Lee and myself with the call on that one. That was thrilling. Bob Lee usually helps with the play by playing it. He's way back there doing the technology because the way we're set up here. So. Yeah, he just, he's, he's phenomenal. I, I, I couldn't do that without him. Got a brilliant first string, 133 of 114 second string. Mark Carrier, 131 and 140 is first two. Gets a spare to start the third. Parkinson, nine. Market Zone Business, uh, Drywall Concepts, Maine. And the new owner, 1710 Bowling Center. Then it goes to Maine. There's a lot in this plate right now. And he still manages to focus bowling. Market's in five. Chris from Blackstone, Massachusetts. Gary on the bonus. 3 1 split. 16 after 1. One five nine, Parkinson. Chris from a 112, 114 average range. High single, 172. Nice try, almost. High triple, 433. High five, 623. Carry nines, 18 through 2. 10 from Mark Carrier, 26 through 2. So two boxes down, eight to go in the final string of the match. 92-90 early on. Bowling ball mopped up by two in the string. They're up 49 in the match. Top of the order, Will Damon, 16 through two. Steve Bonte on the left on lane 35 here in Haverhill, Mass. At Academy Lanes, Pub 125. 19 in the ball through two. <laughs> well, Damon gets four. Bonte on the spare gets five. That's the hay bale. 24 through two here in the third. For a spare. Oh, so close. Game of the nine. That's eight officially, so 24 through three. Steve Bocci, 9, 33 through three. Three to the right, seven to the left. Game is open. 
Tough start here in the third. He's good offer. Will David from Stars and Strikes, South Paris, Maine. Eight box, 32 through four. And they may substitute them out, we'll see. Again, you can substitute them. There are a bunch of wardens that have been sitting waiting. Do you want to do something? So um, you can substitute Anthony in the World Tournament through the first five boxes. However, if you're on a mark, you have to stay in. So a lot of times, they'll sub out in the fourth box if they're not hitting their mark. Mark Webb is on a stair on the right, lane 36 with all of them off you. 16 the ball. 7, 23 through 2. Ryan Drago on a spear. 17 the ball through 2 on lane 35. The lefty. Just 4. The bundle of 6 left up. 21 through 2 here in the third. Nice try. Oh, what a shot. Right around the three, circling around. I call it a shark attack. Circling all around. Weber at nine. Drago at ten. Drago 31 through three. Weber 32 through three. 127, 124, a slim three pin lead for Central Park Lanes here in spring number three. One match to off this on Kenneth Mall Network. We'll sign up after this match, have a third match of the day. Back at it, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Weber goes 9, 10, strike! Second mark of the string, all fired up. 42 to ball through four. Nice ball, Drago, 9. Nine pin left up. Got to be careful that cap over there. Needs to go right at it. And he got it, Bailey. He'll take it. Ryan Drago, second spare of the string, 41 of the ball through four. Ever since he bought a wild shirt today, he's doing really good. Going for his mother also. Power in the wild. Joe Duda on the right, the Bowling Ball Mafia. Proud up on the left of Central Park Lanes. Duda breaks up the hay bale. Gets six. Prado has the force right the one three six ten again. He's converted thirty six percent of the time for Pro Bowls. Uh, what stats provided by Channel for Bowling Network? Duda just missed the object pin. The three is left up. Prado just inside the head pin. Joe one fifteen league bowler overall, one twenty career high for season ten. 28 through 3. Corrado? 9. 26 through 3. 148, 144. Central Park clinging on to a four pin lead here in the third. Two spares in the board for them. One strike for Ball of Mafia. Judo with the Clary, minus 2. The 1, 2, and the 9. Corrado just off to the left. One, three, seven, eight, ten. Up Revere, Massachusetts. Two is open. Corrado's overall average around 116. High single 192. Good offer there. High triple 436. High five 648. Tuda, a nine. Corrado field goal for an eight. The 
Prado, 34 through 4. Joe Duda, 37 through 4. Did you see there's any substitutions either side? You took off? Do you want to sit down? No, no, I don't think. Dean Sullivan on the right. 16 is first two, a pair of eights. On the head came for the first time. 2 1 split. He gets a lot of those, seems like. Sean Landry is four. On a spare, 23 through two. You're up five in the string. Sullivan, nice shot, spare. On the board, 26 to ball through three here in the third. Landry's open. Sean Landry, 43 years old from Lynn, Massachusetts. Average around 118. Career high for a season, 123. High single, 183. High triple, 451. High five, 686. There's two subs to the board ball mafia. Uh, Joe Dunn coming out. And Jason Spots is going to replace him. Jason Sparks is going to go in for me. Oh, it's going for you. Okay, so who's going in for Kai? Who's Kai Hunt replacing? I don't know. I think Kai Hunt. I'll find out. And I'm going in for Corrado. Okay, there you go. It's another one. Thank you. All right, so substitutions on the fly. Again, they can sub within the first five boxes. We should do it by four. So let's get the lineup here now. Hey, do you just get the lineup organized from here, Flynn? Can you just see the, ask you the lineup? See what the lineup is in front of order for me, please, and, and for them also. Just for them also afterwards. All right, so. Joe Judah, 9, 37 to 4. I believe he's coming out now. We'll see. Meanwhile, Anka Bullets, Chris Parkinson on the left, Mark Carey on the right. 175, 175. We're tied here in the third. One spare for Central Park. One strike. And that's the biggest second strike of the team. What a shot that was. Bang! 36 plus 2 for Mark Carrier, second mark of the string. She's missing, don't worry about it. That's the order. Check this out. Chris Parkinson answers back with a spare. 28 in the ball through 3. The fireballer for a double. Thought he had it. This intense ball on the lane. Parkinson half wester ouch. Thirty through three. Area 7-10 corner pole, 8 in the strike, 44 through 3. Parking and bounces it in the hole. Ouch. Area and 8. 52 through 4 here in the third. Chris Parkinson, tough 6, 36 through 4. Four boxes down, 6 to go. Kid and Bone Network's presentation of the World Tournament from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Massachusetts, along with Anthony Karen Bobley and Paul Grant. Thank you for watching this great game of Kid and Bowling. All right, so Steve Bonte, top of the order, 42 through 4. Here's Jason Sparks, filling in for Will Damon. Jason, 39 years old. From Portland, Maine, 122 average, 126 career high, with a 194 high single, high triple 472, high five of 730, and sprinkling a high 10 of 1387. Nice ball strike! 
Goes to Westbrook Lanes and Westbrook Lane. What a start. Going in. Will Damon. 42 out plus two. His feeling got involved in bowling also. Fauci trying to kick it over. Oh, what a shot for a spare. Outstanding. Fauci, 52 in the ball through five. Is that yours? Both on marks. Both on marks. Chief Fauci with the spare in 36. That's the post. 57 half. Jason, another double here for Bowling Ball Mafia. Has a chance. Got eight. Decent Wood in front of the six and ten. Working on a strike. Bocci, good try. The object pay won't carry. He's at the six seven. Sparks missed it. Ouch. So close. You always want to hit something. Bocci, nine. Ball right behind the six. Sparks for ten. Bocci, 66 to six. Jason, give him a spark. 50 through five, 60 through six. Ryan Drake on the right. Mark Weber on the left. For the final swing of the second of three matches today. 229, 217. Bowling Ball Mafia up for the string by 12, up in the match. By 59. No lead is safe in the World Tournament. Drake up from Warren, Massachusetts. Half Worcester on the field, 43 through 4. Weber, 8, has the 3 and the 10. He's working on a strike. No marks on the board for either side right now. There you go, 20% chance to convert. Give it a try. Another Anthony Karen, 7 10 goal post. Weber, nice shot, spare. Not easy. He got it. Spare on strike. 52 through 4. 62 half plus 1. Drago, 9. 52 half. Ryan and Richard from Somerville, Mass. Again now in Warren, Mass. 112 league bowl, a career high of 118. High 20 at 2380 out of Bogey Lanes. In East Brookfield, Mass, and French King Bowling Center in Irving, Mass. Debut in the King of the Palace back in 2019. He got to bowl head to head with one of his bowling heroes, Jeff Surrett, who's here today bowling with a funky strike. With 32 and 0 after the first four rounds today. Not surprising. They are deep. Half with Drago. Weber drills eight on the spare. 70 half. He's got the five to the left. The six to the right. Ryan's high single, 167. In the hole. High triple, 410. High five, 660. Weber. Oh, he's got a nice shot. Striking two stairs. Fourth mark in the string. Eight and a ball through six. There you go. Nice out. Just a seven, though. 59 through 6. Bowling Ball Mafia. Red hot so far. 28 and 4 coming to this match. They split the first two. 267, 235. Bowling Ball Mafia by 32 in the string. They're up big in the match. Justin Scally. Back in the lineup, Triangle, 6 9 10. Here's Kai Hunt, 19 year old sensation out of Newport Entertainment Bowling Center, Newport, Maine. Scally in the middle. Kai Hunt probably saw Kai Hunt last year. Scally is 9. 
Oh, yeah, nice hole. Oh, what a shot. That's a nice 10. Kai Hunt with Joe Duda combined, 47 and a half. Justin Scott with Carl Honey combined, 43 and a half. Kai Hunt from Burnham, Maine. Originally Guilford, Maine. Bowling since 7 years old. Scally has the post. Hot the fireball. Slams down 8. Another Anthony Cannon ball post. Scally, 36 miles an hour, is open. Ty Hunt in the middle. Scally, 7. Ty, 9. Great upside for Ty Hunt also. Another great bullet, Ty Hunt. 56 through 6. 50 through 6 to Scally and Honey combined. Tudor and Hunt, 56 combined. Dean Sullivan on the left. And a spare 5 in the third. He's 38 through 4 with a spare. Sean Landry with a spare 4 in the second. Just 40 through 4. Landry in the pocket. Been hit. But gets a bunch. Gets 8. Four seven 7 spare chance. Sullivan. Perfect shot. Spread eagle plus to 9. For a spare, he got it. Second spare of the string. 50 half plus one. Sullivan. Two left, three six ten to the right. With one pro series title on his belt. Nice offer there. Got two. Settled for an eight. 46 half. Dean was seven time a seven time winner at King of the Palace. A two-time up on the Bear Champion as well. Was number two seed last season at Kilpins against a qualifying round. Going to qualify extra lanes. You can watch his match on Alley Chat in the latter series, number two seed. Season three. Season one, ladder three, I should say. Landry, Fred Eagle plus to nine. Sullivan drops nine. <laughs> Team was born in Thousand Oaks, California. Landry's open. Landry from Lynn, Mass. 118 average, career high, 123. Almost is 10 years old. 118 average, like I said earlier, 123 career high, 183 high single. 451 high triple, 686 high five. Saw him right on the money. It's there. Second spare of the string, 56. And the ball for six. Landry, nine. Sean with 62 through six. So three marks on the board. The Warren Ball Mafia. Nothing on the board for Central Park Lanes. The Warren Ball Mafia is up 31. Looking good here. With six boxes. You got the match. Pretty much in hand. Now it's our ankle ball. It's Chris Parkinson. 36 before the spare two. He has the triangle. 3 5 and the 6. Our carrier drills 9. Pink pin left up. Parkinson open with the 3 and the 6. Carrier. Got it. Another spare. Third mark of the string. 62 half plus one. Parkinson cleans it up for a 10. 46 half. Four ball mafia on fire here in the third. Four marks on the board. Approach of three marks. So none. For Central Park. First again out of Brian and Filming Musings, Millis Mass. I'd like to mention on three podcasts, we have oh, the uh, Rip in the Rack podcast with Tim Matero, Brian Athern, and Calvin Locke. We have Caleb and Corner with Jordan 
with me, Corey Lisi. We have the Approach Podcast. We have the Approach Podcast with Danny Finn and Jeremy Seahorn. Dan Gauthier there filling in for Chris Parkinson. That's the cutoff after five boxes. If Chris had got the mark, he had to stay in. He pulled early in the first string. Bundle of six, just missed the head pin, just back, at least up to nine. Which try to take, but not enough on it. Mark Carrier, two, five, seven, looks good. Oh, too full. Gothi gets a ten. They call him Shoe. Mark Carrier, nine. 78 through 6. He's 271 as first two. So 131 to 140. Back to the top. We go to four boxes to go. Paul Green, Anthony Karen, Bob Lee on Candle for Bowling Network. Please subscribe free on our YouTube channel. Tell your friends and family. Help support Candle for Bowling Network. Free on YouTube. Candle for Bowling Network. Please subscribe today free. And thank you as always for your support. Countless number of hours. Your choice for all things Candle for Semi Pro to Pro. Candle for Bowling Network on YouTube. Jason Sparks off the bench. Almost oh, left to one, two, four, seven. Dean <laughs> Bocchi has the four, seven spare chance. Sparks all but the head pin. Jason was 2.7 pound urethane ball in Boss. Bakke is fair. 76 to Bakke 7. Sparks at 10. 72-7. Hit a strike 8 in the fifth box. After a 24, after a slow start, he came in off the bench. He's apparently going to involve bowling. He won a main pro tour. He says when he was good. He's still very good. One of the three men that won the uh, Battle of Sexes in Portsmouth last year. Nine drop of Monty on the spare. 85 to 7. Jason the 1 3. Monty, another spare back to back. Trying to get his team back into contention in the third. 95 to Monty 8. Sparks a 9, 79 through 8. 349, 322. The lead has diminished to 27. The Baltimore Mafia has three marks on the board, is it? One, two, two marks on the board now. Just one for Central Park. Ryan Drago on the left. Mark Weber on the right. Mark in Belfast, Maine. Same town as All Play Bowling Center, formed by Paul Dyer. Drago, strike bid nine. That was close. Weber's five in the spare, 85 through six. Has a 123 and a 113 already. Wide right. Mark's high single again, 195, high triple 444, high five 714. There you go. Spare! Three marks thrown. These are a set of frames here. The center of Park Lanes. Two by Steve Bonte, one for Ryan Drago. In the seventh eighth box. 69 to Bonte, seven. Mark Weber, eight, 93 for seven. It's on it's on Caleb and Bowling Network. Weber drills eight. There you go, just three in the spare. Seventy two to seven. We have a 41 last an hour. Spare. 103 to ball through eight. 
Fifth mark of the string. Brago, good bid, won't go. Two wiggly pins hold up. There you go at nine. Ryan, 81 to eight. At 92 combined, coming up eventually first, and one fall to the second. Here's Kai Hunt. Average of 119 overall, high single of 188. At, age, at the age of 14, plus nine. Half whistle, Justin Scally. Hunt, 41 miles an hour, I missed it. Shout out to Brent Hunt, his father. If you're listening, Brent Hunt, thanks for all your support on Cannibal Bowling Network. Hi. All Grand Special, missed the second, make the third for a 10. 66 to 7. Scally, good offer for 10, gets a 9. Fresh and Justin with a 9, 59 through 7. Hi, Hunt. With a 10, 66 through 7. Filling up Joe Duda. Cluster of 4. 3, 6, 10 to 9, behind the 3. Scally back in the pocket. Trying to give her that split. That's the 3 to the right, the 4 to the left. Eyes open with the 3 and the 9. Right, from Newport Entertainment Center, Newport, Maine. The fastest house around, arguably. His father Brent got him involved in bowling. Scally missed it for an 8. 74 through 8. Hi Hunt, 9, 7, 5 through 8. Justin Scally nudged it. Friendly shot for 9. 68 through 8. Three ninety one, three sixty two. Long ball knocking by twenty nine. Final swing winding down here in Haverhill, Mass. At Academy Lanes, in Club One Twenty Five. World Tournament Day Two. Our week on coverage on Channel Four Network. Sullivan head pin, four two split. That's on a spare, sixty through six. Sean Landry off to the right, one two ten. Sean's thrown uh, five spikes in a row in the past. It's hard to do. One of a five man Massachusetts State tournament as well. He's open. Was a Metro Bowl in PBD, Massachusetts. The Chris Sargent is high single, 245, trying to count from bowling records. Now some the other one, 245. Sullivan is seven. 67 to 7. Sean Landry. 9, 71 Next match, MH against Abel from Canada. He goes left. 1, 3, and 7. Landry drills that pin. 9. Sullivan, nice ball, almost to try. Landry at 41 miles now, right on it for a spare. Central Park trying to fight the way for four points. Polo is out of reach. Sullivan at nine. 76 through eight. Sean Landry, 81 the ball through eight. Mark Carey, the anchor for Bowling Ball Mafia, the brand new owner of. 1710 Sports Center, Augusta, Maine. Doing a great job. 78 through 6. Dan Gothia subbing in. Chris Parkinson on the left. 56 through 6. Area 1378. Gothia off to the right. Only 5. Dan's overall average 111, career high 125, high single 192, 
High triple four sixty four. High five seven forty six for Milford, Massachusetts. Let's come back. Let's go. It does. A legal block in the back for a spare. Eighty one of the ball through eight. Very nice ten. Eighty eight through eight. Two blocks to go. At Academy, I got through seven. My mistake is seven. 66 through seven. Plus the ball for Dan Goff here. Dan's favorite moment. About 10 marks and one, 10 marks. One strike and nine spares. Got a 185 at Bogey Lanes. All spills are seven to higher. Area can't break up the split. Shoot. On the spare six, you have the four to the left, the three, six, ten to the right, 72 through eight. Dan from Ware, Ware, W A R E, Ware, Massachusetts, pulls a Ryan Tilly Amusements, Millis Mass, almost outrun the bear. Good try, just missed the object pin. Thought he had it. Area nine, 97 through eight. Dan Gothi of Austin's 12 years old. Used to work. Uh, I well, used to work next to Rollaway, the big Y next to Rollaway Lane, so he practiced a lot there. He won Channel 5 doubles appearance with Mark Hayes in five Comcast shows. He won a $1,000 triple strike jackpot on the Comcast show. Also appeared in two skin shows as well. And hosted the popular Candle Prince with Kids TV show for 12 years. He ain't got here. Top four to final two boxes. 5.30 to 4.07, ball, ball, bowling ball mafia of 23. We have one mark, two marks, central one, central lanes, park lanes. D. Barty on a spare five, 100 to eight. That's the lead down to 18 for bowling ball mafia. Oh, what a try, right behind the four. It would have been huge. Jason Sparks, three down in the first ball. He's up to seven diamonds. Bati a nine. 109-9. Jason with an eight. 87 through nine. His favorite bowling moment was winning teams with his father, brother, and uncle. His hobbies include golf, cooking, and online sarcasm. The 39 year old of Portland, Maine, Jason Sparks. Steve Fonte, he knows nine. Sparks, another, another dime this time to the right side. Use this mark, and he has it. Spare in the tenth. Steve Bonte, 119 the ball. It's a 129 and a 114. Sparks denied the spare. That looked good. That's why they only go about 27 percent of the time for world bowls without it, based on Kenneth Bowling Network stats. Looks so simple. Off to right for nine. 96 string. Steve Bonte, first two spare still here. Strike will be great for the team. Charlie Collins, the Terminator. How you doing today, Charlie? The Terminator, Charlie Collins. How you doing today? Uh, well, I lost my voice, but I've been doing well. I only bowled like three or four strings. Uh, three, four strings today, but that's it. Okay, one second. Four for Steve Bonte. He ends up the 122 string. 365 for Steve Bonte. Eight boxes to go. 447-434. We'll talk to Charlie Collins throughout the week. I think we're going to see him tomorrow. Again anyway. 13 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. Correction, 12 pin lead. 447, 435. Each team with one mark. Ryan Drago, he's one here. It won't be easy. 4 2 split. Mark Weber, the only mark for his Bowling Ball Mafia. 103 in the ball. On lane 35. Blast in the head pin. It's seven. 
Make it eight. That's the two and the ten. One, eleven, and eight. You're up by 20 right now. Minus the ball. Drago. Nice shot, almost. Remember, nice shot, almost. They try. Drago, nine, ninety through nine. Oh, let's go. Weber at ten, one twenty, one through nine. Central Park needs the marks. They have one to none advantage in that department, but they're down right now by twenty one. I think Norcross looked like delivery. First strike, almost. Up and not fall. It's nine and nine tenths down. Great piece of wood for a spare, though. Weber. Yeah, he gets nine. He has the six pin. Up a piece of wood. Rolling away, it's even better. You go right at it if he needs to. A guy to possibly help. Drago needs this mark. He's got it. Spare in the tenth. One hundred in the ball. High probability here for Weber. And he's got it. One thirty one on the ball in the tenth. Going for just seven years. <laughs> Both on spares. Drago on the nose. Six, one oh six, third string. Weber, 131 plus nine. Ten strike on spare. Wow. What a strength. 141. 123. 113. 141. 377. For the youngster, Mark Weber from me. That pushes lead up now to 25. One spare. For Central Park. Here's Justin Scally. Get a chance. High hunt drills eight. Watch out for this guy, folks. Pull a 672 at age 14. Went to the U.S. Imitation last year for the first time. Pulled age 16 in the world. Missed the chance there. Stanley's open. Ty's favorite bowling woman was winning the adult slash junior state title with two years ago with his father, Brent Hunt. Both with tens. Justin, 78 through 9. I hunt with Joe Duda, 85. Proud of Pani, Justin Scali combining for 78. Hi, has already bowled 15 strings over 170, including a Walmart string of 179, which won a 176 for a string in league play. He drills the park, he gets nine. Kai Hunt, K A I Hunt. Vernon Main, Scally's open with one and five. Hunt, spare! Both Atlantic came up in singles for the main division. Also by Matt Huff, and Mark Weber. 95 in the ball, Scally in eight, 86. Miles Brad Apani. They pull him off here, try to get six points locked up here. Hunt, off to the right, steals seven. 102. Combination with Joe Duda and Kai Hunt. And four blocks to go. One mark for Central Park Lanes. None for Bowling Ball Mafia. But the 34 pin lead. 34 pin lead. And Dean Sullivan will try to keep that in check here as he starts in lane 35. Oh! 
John Landry on the field just three. 84 eights. Down 31 now. And they're in miracle zone now. Andy has a 2.7 left. Two points for a win, one for tie, two for total. If Bowen Ball Mafia hangs on, they'll go to 34 and 8. On correction. They'll go to 32. 34 and 6. So 32. 28 and 4 coming in, so they'll go to 34 and 6. Seven for Landry. Ninety-one through nine. Sullivan nine. Eighty-five to nine. Five twenty-one four eighty-eight. Six miles the lead. This means six to two for Ball and Ball Mafia. And next, MH versus Abel from Canada. We'll sign up at this broadcast. We'll get ready for our third and final match today. And don't forget tomorrow, 9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., time approximate here at Academy Lanes, April Mass, Club 125, the World Tournament, Day 3. Friday, we'll have you on 9 o'clock, 12, and then the, the uh, playoffs will start at 3 p.m. Give us take the opening round, quarterfinals, semifinals at 9 to 12 on Saturday. Alley chat with the finals around 3 p.m. on Saturday. Wrap it up. Both for Spares in the 10th. Sullivan 95 from 10, Landry 1 and 1 of all 10. I want to thank Anthony Karen for helping out. Anthony, thank you very much. You're welcome. Great job. Thank you. Bob Lee helped out again behind the background. Landry, six in the field, 107 third string. Dean Sullivan, six field, 101 string. Two blocks to go. 30, 537, 504, 33 pin lead. Not officially clinched yet, but pretty much done so. Hang off here. Punched out two. And now I'll do it officially. Ball and Ball Mafia goes six and two. Central goes two and six. Central will drop to 12 and 28. And Ball and Ball Mafia will go to 34 and six. Carry a nice shot, spare. 107 to ball the ninth. Off here, ends up with a seven. 89 9. It's hard to win a lot of points when you only get 520 or so, 530 in a string in the world tournament. Both congratulate, congratulate each other. Good sportsmanship as always. Kimpin, just a reminder to support your local bowling center with Kimpin gift cards this holiday season, all year round. League bowling gets people involved in bowling. Try to encourage them to join a league. Make some great gift, Kimpin gift cards all season long. And get the keys on giving. Carry a five in the spare. One twelve nine. Final box to match. We'll sign up right after this and come back in a few minutes for our third final match of the day on Channel the Bowling Network. Thank you for your great support. Please like and subscribe so you're notified when we start our live broadcast. Not here. A spare and a tenth. Carrier gets a seven. Ends up with a 119 third string. Ends up with 390. Three strings. Shoe on the bonus. Eight ends up with a 107. Final score the third string. Ball and Ball Mafia, 559. Central Park Lanes, 529. They win it 1760 to 1683. Anthony 